Hi everybody. I'm sorry that the uh, update is so late tonight. Uh, Billy had a uh, little bit of a rough day today. They didn't. They took their sweet time getting him loaded. So he literally sat and uh, <clears throat> sat at his uh, uh, delivery from early this morning till about 4:30 this afternoon, and then he had to go pick up. So it was uh, a bit of a day for him. So. We got quite an uh, update from Miss uh, Tasha today. Um, I take a lot of notes. I don't want to mess up and, and give out the wrong information or anything. So I'm hoping many of you caught her live stream today um, that she put out. Um, if not, we're going to post that down in the description below so you can go catch that uh, so you can see how she's doing. And then uh, we got a few few things to add. For this evening so um she's on quite a few blood thinners she said um one of them starts with an e she can't remember she's on several um strong dose steroids uh several antibiotics and since she's on the uh, strong doses of steroids it can affect your blood sugar and cause it to rise so they have her on a sugar-free diet and she's also having to take insulin now and so um they got her sitting up in a chair today i believe she said that in her live stream as well so that made her feel pretty good she she liked that um i'm a little envious she says she's got a gel foam mattress and i was like girls get over let me in but yeah we know that's not happening so um her father-in-law and mother-in-law, Bill and Karen, are, are doing pretty good. Um, they both got their uh, Regina on, so they're they're doing all right um, for the, you know for the most part. We're also going to be adding in her PayPal account and her Venmo um, account as well for those of you who want to donate but don't necessarily want to donate through the Cash App. So we'll be adding those. They'll be in the description as well. Also, if you guys can't donate, and there's many of us who cannot, um, please go to her channel and play her playlist. If we can get her watch hours up, that'll get her monetized, and that will help out immensely. And so there's always that option as well. You know, or, you know, you can just do both, whichever. You know, it's totally up to you. Um, she said her blood pressure did go down a little bit today, so she had to, they had to give her some medicine through through her IV. So um tonight she let me know that she's been doing her lung exercises. She was doing them at the other hospital as well. Um but the uh, the exerciser was bulky and kind of difficult and she's she kinda of struggled with that. So um she explained it to me the lung exercise opens up the little balloons in her lungs. They're full of gunk from this virus and so by doing this exercise, she's opening those balloons back up and keeping them from sticking together. That way the oxygen can get in there and, and do what it needs to do. So this morning when she started, um, she was only able to do three puffs. And then she'd have to stop, let her oxygen come back up, recuperate. And she was doing that like three times an hour. Well, tonight she hit her goal ten, ten times an hour. So she's able to do the full ten puffs and... Uh, and not have to take so long to recuperate and uh, get her oxygen back up. So she's doing much, much better in that. Um, she's really working hard to keep that going because she's she's fighting to get out of this hospital. So um, they still have her on full pressure uh, to keep her oxygen levels up. So she said the one is venting at 40. It needs to be down to a two. And the other one is at 100 and needs to be down to 25 before she is considered stable enough to be moved to a different room. So she's she's working on that one. She did say that she's got a bit of a headache tonight. It's quite noisy in her room with all the oxygen going and stuff. So, But she's doing okay. Um, they're alternating Tylenol and ibuprofen uh, between the two. And they're keeping her headache. Oh, sorry, my eyeball itches. Keeping her headache. Um bearable so and she received some great great news tonight um her husband's mom has an oxygen concentrator 
from when uh, um, her ex-husband, he has passed away. But uh, she still has the oxygen concentrator. So she's going to be sending that to them. Um, that saves them about $2,300 because uh, the insurance won't pay for it. So she uh, she's really thankful for that. So um, she seemed to be in really good spirits today. Um, we uh, had a lot of goofing off today, so that was really good to see to see that happening again. Um, gosh, my eye. I'm sorry, guys. Um, starting to see our Tasha coming coming back. Um, it was wonderful. It's it's really really good thing to see. So let's keep those prayers coming. Um, she's you know she's still not out of the the woodwork yet. So out of the woods, however you want to. However you want to say that. I'm sorry. Um, I don't have a bit of headache myself today. So brain is uh, not wanting to cooperate. So let's keep you, uh, keep praying for her. And uh, good vibes, positive energy, whatever it is that you do. Um, loving thoughts. Um, you know, if you message her, her you know, she, uh, she's appreciating all, all the love and support that everybody's pouring over her. So, and it's great to see other channels reaching out and, and uh, supporting her and spreading the word and trying to get as many prayers as we can get going for her. So, you guys are an amazing group of people. So, I, I pray that each and every one of you have a wonderful, blessed night. Love you all.